Well, tonight we know that the Salvation Army Emergency Shelter in Pine Bluff is officially closing its doors as of June 1st. Channel 7's Ashley Butler has more on the services that will still be offered despite the closure. Ashley. Chris Beth, while the Salvation Army Emergency Shelter and Church are both closing, the Emergency Social Services Office and its thrift store are staying open. We have several different avenues of service. We have our emergency social service office, we have our church, we have our emergency homeless shelter, and we have our thrift store. The only parts that are closing are the emergency homeless shelter and the church. Everything else is staying put and staying in the buildings where they're currently located. The Salvation Army in Pine Bluff is making these changes starting June 1st due to the decline in funding over the past several years. We just haven't seen the donations that we had in years past. In an effort to save money and to reduce expenses overall, we're having to close the shelter in the church. But the shelter is remaining open, still offering the food pantry, financial assistance with utilities or rent, and case management services. We see higher numbers at certain times of the year and lower numbers at other times. So right now is kind of our low season because it's warm outside. We only have three people currently in the emergency shelter. Um, the most we've seen since I've been here for the past three years is 15. With the amount of people relying on Salvation Army for overnight shelter, all depending on the weather and time of month. We want the community to know that we're not abandoning the homeless population. We will still offer case management for those individuals. We still want to help them find secure housing and our, our emergency social service office and our two caseworkers here can help people experiencing homelessness, access resources that are already available in our community. There is a new homeless day center in Pine Bluff that opened last month called Opportunity House, and they plan to eventually add a 24-hour shelter. On your side, I'm Ashley Butler. Okay, Ashley, thanks so much. It is not yet clear when Opportunity House will begin offering those overnight services.